What is happening? Welcome to another pitcher video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder at Pitcherless, former college pitcher and pitching coach. And today we're going to talk about this man, Spencer Turnbull. He threw a no-hitter against the Mariners yesterday. How could we not talk about one of his innings and see how he got those outs, how he dominated the Mariners, and how he had easily his best start of the year as we wonder, is this the breakout here that we've been waiting for from Spencer Turnbull for years? So... As we always start these, every single time, we got to talk about the repertoire. It's pretty straightforward with Turnbull. We've been shouting this for ages. Please, Turnbull, stop throwing your sinker. Throw that four-seamer more. And, hey, make sure you get one of your breaking balls in order. Well, we got both yesterday from Turnbull as his four-seamer and slider combined for 75% usage. We saw more four-seamers than sinkers by far. We also saw some curveballs in there, too. And, honestly... If Turnbull can get into that four-seamer slider curveball uh, mentality, things can be great. He also saw some change-ups yesterday as well. But we're going to look at the fourth inning yesterday from Turnbull. Very impressive inning. And we're going to talk about it. However, it, it does include the one blip of the day, which is the, the Jared Kelnick walk. Uh, but we're going to work through this one, see how uh, Turnbull is faring and how he's getting all of his outs. So without further ado, we're going to go into this now. And here he leads off, of course, is Kalanick. And there's that curveball at 77. Terrible pitch. I mean, I like the fact that he's trying to throw a first pitch breaking ball to a left-hander. That should work, even if that's a show-me curveball from Turnbull to go 0-1 oh, to oh, 1 quickly. That's great. And I think that's really what we'll see from Turnbull moving forward a lot are those first pitch curveballs as opposed to turning that into a huge whiff pitch. I think he's relying on that slider for that. So, fine, he missed that one. No big deal. Come back to it probably with a fastball away. And he tugged that one. He pulled it too far away. Uh, you can kind of see on release, his timing is not quite right. A little bit over here. You can kind of see him actually leaning towards the left as opposed to towards the right where he should be um, as he tugs that one. Um, that's okay. All right, 2-0, not great, but we can recover, throw a good fastball. Kind of interesting, honestly, to see uh, the setup inside after he just tugged a fastball. I would want to think, stay away here and recalibrate. But instead, we see them setting up inside as you have the that four-seamer. And it's a really good one. Look at the cut action on this. I'm going to do this in slow motion. I want you guys to be able to see. So out of the hand here, it's coming up. And if this is a typical four-seamer, especially with that lower arm angle, You'll see a touch of ride coming back. So as of right now, you would think it would land about here. And it's not like a sinker sinker. You know, maybe you could see it all the way go to the middle of the plate. But this is really important with Spencer Turnbull's cutter, or really his four-seamer. This pitch, try and get a mental image right now. Where do you think this pitch is going to land? And look at this. It comes in. It comes in a little bit more with a touch of depth. So we're going to watch this one more time all the way through. This is Spencer Turnbull's four-seamer with cut action. See, it dives in just a little bit. And because of that, where does he get it off the bat? Right on the inside part of the barrel, which means it's going to be foul ball. Now, if it fell back like a normal four-seamer... That's going to be closer to the barrel, and that actually might be something down the line for a double. A little bit of depth, maybe, from, from Kalanick. So, that kind of difference right now is is everything for, for Turnbull. And this is a very effective four-seamer, and you'll see through this entire game, Turnbull did an excellent job of putting that four-seamer inside of left-handers, effectively using it as a cutter, getting foul balls, and getting even whiffs on that pitch. Really, really cool stuff there uh, from Turnbull. So, 2-1, I would go back there. And instead, he throws a changeup. Wow, two one changeup. It's a lot of confidence in that pitch. It's not Turnbull's number two pitch at all. I would argue it could be his number three, but it's a debatable one between him that and his curveball. And at two one, I would probably just throw another fastball like that. He wasn't able to handle it. You know, he finally got in the right spot. I think it's a little too cute uh, from Turnbull. Throw that fastball again. Oh, and he just messed that one up. I mean, he's upset. I mean, we all know that stroke. We all know the feeling of just, how oh, let's just walk it out. Let's get our emotions back in check. Ex show everybody that you are frustrated and you don't, you know, that you actually care that you just walk somebody. All right, fine. Fourth inning, man on first. Uh, Handiger is up. 
typically it's not a man on second it's a little bit different but turnbull this inning has not been good with fastball command and it is against a righty it does change your perspective as a pitcher like especially as a righty against a lefty it does feel that the the plate is a lot more accessible to you easier to hit your target it's a little more claustrophobic uh claustrophobic with a righty there uh, but it does change a little bit your mechanics slightly when you see a lefty versus righty. It's just how your perspective is of uh, the window of hitting that glove. So we'll see uh, if Turnbull has different command with this. It looks like they're going inside. And there's that cutter. And I got to say that again. This is an unbelievably good pitch because it's not going in off the plate. It actually has a bit of movement coming back. Watch it again. I'm going to do it at half speed. It falls back in. As opposed to coming back and out over. Love this pitch. This is such a good location. I'm going to see it again one more time. Ah, so good. So, so good. And you see Hanniger's ready for it, right? He's, 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 he's aggressive on that heater. I would probably throw a slider away now. To, just showcasing that Hanniger wanted to hit a fastball. He's swinging through the first one. Cool. I'm going to throw a slider now is what I would do. He goes back in the same spot. And Hanniger is really close now. This is a little bit more hittable. I mean, this is a good pitch. Don't get me wrong. And the fact that Turnbull executed the first time, I understand why they went with it a second time. Um, but Handiker is really showing, like, I want to swing, and I want to swing on your fastball. And he's just missing him. So, 0-2, you have to throw a slider now. I mean, maybe you can you can throw the same fastball and go higher up. But it is playing with the fact that Handiker is looking for this. If you throw a good slider, I think that is more effective than a good fastball. And, oh, he wanted to swing at it. He actually, he like... You shouldn't be offering that much on a pitch this far away, right? I mean, look how far he went. This is this is kind of crazy for a pitch that's so far away. A Handiger is just selling out for a fastball in this at bat. So I don't think he's going to adjust. I would throw a better slider. Oh, uh, he threw a fastball, and yeah, and he fouled it off. Like, he can he can do that, you know? Now, I will say, Hanniger isn't looking over here. He is still looking up here, and that's actually why I think this is a foul ball as opposed to actual damage. You can kind of see where he gets a contact on. It's on the end of the bat. Uh, it's because he's looking up and in. So, actually, this isn't a terrible pitch call at all. Um, but the fact that I think that this isn't a slider, um, if this was a slider, this is dead to rights, uh, Hanniger, but because he's timed up with that speed, uh, he's able to foul it off and stay alive. So now once you throw that slider, throw a good one, please. Ah, oh, that's hung up too far. You got an out. I mean, it can, this is this is very interesting to me. Uh, and you're like, Nick, my God, he, slider, uh, he crushed it. What's wrong with you? I mean, Hanneker did a decent job. This is, this is hung up pretty high here. This is way better of a pitch than... Uh, that Hander got that we wanted. We want it underneath. But you can kind of see, butt is out. He's, he's stuck on his fl uh, front foot. Timing is off. Right? Foot's down, and that's, that's not right. Hanniger leans out, does a good job of leaning so far out on this uh, with his top half to get the barrel on it. Like, he kind of lunges the bat at it and is able to drive it. That's a really good job. But I uh, But if this is down... And not up here. This is pretty much middle. That gets a whiff. Like, Hanniger is going to struggle and swing over that. Because he's already committed, essentially, with his weight forward. So, I still like... I think the pitch call is correct. It's just you got to you gotta throw a better one. I mean, yeah, it's an out. Whatever. But, you know what I mean. I mean, it's an out because it was the right pitch call, essentially. If it... You know, if he was looking for a slider, that's gone, likely. There's a the first pitch I... Fastball, I like the pitch call. It worked out. I think Seager was looking for a secondary pitch there. Just wasn't ready to do that. If that's the case, I throw another one. I don't get cute. If there was a changeup again, ah. No. No, no, the changeup is not your thing, Turnbull. I know you're trying to do that more against lefties, but honestly, I think you have a good enough slider that you can bury that pitch. You can bury sliders down here, man. It's good enough. When you're, when you're cruising, you do that well. 1-1, one, one, go back with a fastball. Yep. Ah, oh, look at that. Swing right through it now. Seager can't handle the heater. Like, he took the first one, didn't want it, and then now he's swinging at this one up here. Swing through it. You got to throw another. He's upset at himself, but now, he's, now he doesn't know what to think. 
Throw another fastball. Yeah, but you overthrew that one, Turnbull. Okay, all right. Let's 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 do a better one. Throw a better fastball. Well, all right. You know what? That's pretty cool. That uh, I'm I'm game with this. This is a curveball. This isn't the first pitch. I uh, show me that I was talking about before. This is a big curveball. That this starts. It starts high enough that Seeger thinks that this is going to land down for a strike. So he needs to recover. And he doesn't he's not able to catch up to this. This is a great location. Beautiful, beautiful pitch. This is what you should be throwing instead of the change up to lefties. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that Turnbull has consistency of throwing this in this location to lefties yet. Really nice that he, we saw it here. Um I'm trying to see from the where the glove is. I think he's actually trying to backdoor it. And he's not, you know, normally if you had the intention of, of throwing in the dead zone, you'll see the glove turned over uh, and located down at, at his back foot, right? So I think he kind of got lucky that it landed in the perfect spot. Uh, but that's the kind of skill that I want to see Turnbull doing consistently. And he got pretty uh, pretty fortunate, I think, with that one. But yeah, you go over the 2-2 curveball, that's pretty cool. Seager was dead to rights in that bat. He was just not ready for it. Um, so you showcase a skill before of jamming up and in um, with a fastball. It is Kyle Lewis, so I do think you can get out with breaking balls more often than your average guy. But I imagine they might go with that first. Oh, no, they do go with a slider, and that's a great one. Cool. If he threw that to Hanniger, that's a strikeout, right? But he, land he landed up here. But this is actually, this looks like a fastball out of the, gate, out of the hand. Look at that. That could be a heater. That lands right there, and look how far this goes. Oh, all the way down here. Look at that difference. Mm, beautiful, beautiful pitch. So, okay, Kyle Lewis has given up, is shown his hand. I want a fastball. Do not give him a fastball. I gave him a fastball, 94 up. Uh, look at Kelnick getting a stolen base. Wow, okay. So, Kyle Lewis, I, I've been making a lot of assumptions, as always, <laughs> on, on this channel about about a, a batter approach in at bats and, and for the most part they don't change as much as you think they do uh generally batters play have gambits where they're looking for a certain thing in an at bat and they're or they're hoping to get it at some point and not and if you constantly are shifting and changing and, and being reactive you'll find yourself on the defensive so i think kyle lewis after seeing that slider first is now being hyper reactive to that slider and changes approach away from a heater because this pitch is exactly what he was looking for in the first pitch. And because of that slider by Turnbull, he reacted, he, he shifts his approach too much. And he swings right through that one. You kind of, I mean, imagine yourself in the shoes uh, of Kyle Lewis and. It makes a lot of sense, right? Like, you get beat on something, and now you're just paranoid about being beat on that again. And it's this constant reactive. Think about yourself playing rock, paper, scissors, uh, where you just got beat by someone putting down rock. You're going to put paper next. It's actually the most common thing to do is for someone to put down the thing. Uh, you know, Actually, it's the thing that beat you. So you, you, you put down a rock, he's going to put down a rock. It's constantly reactive. It's just a natural human psychology. I uh, that someone like Kyle Lewis, who is not a, a large veteran, might be more susceptible to. So now O2, slider whiffed, fastball whiffed. I'm going back to the slider down away. And he got the check swing. Oh, good job by Kyle Lewis holding up on that. Now, this is the one from the first, and I, I generally I'm actually kind of surprised that Lewis didn't swing at this. I will say, likely, and as you can see from the check swing. He was close to swinging at this. So if it's a little bit more competitive, it does get the strikeout. So that's a pretty good 0-2. I'm, I'm a little impressed that Lewis was able to, to resist. Do it again, though. Now Lewis thinks he earned a fastball. He's not going to get one, though, right? Another slider. Oh, look at you, Lewis. Mm. Well done. I expected you to whiff on that. Nice job. That's a good one. I feel like if he threw that on the previous one, he would have gone the whiff. He's, I mean, in many ways, you thought he's earned a fastball now. Let's see if P Spencer gives in. He does and has a touch of cut action once again. See, look at this. Out of the hand, it's lined up. 
And instead of coming slightly back over the plate, it stays away. A little bit of drop. And he gets Lewis, who finally was getting that fastball, just didn't quite read it right. Ooh. So, I mean, that that's the thing with Turnbull right now. The sliders are looking good. The, the fastball has that cut action, and it's working well. And I think, really, he should be relying on those two pitches. Against lefties, we saw two changeups that actually had decent movement, but just aren't the pitch for him. A curveball that hopefully he can bury down and in. Um, but that's how Turnbull did it. It's with a fastball that the Mariners just could not handle with good cut action on it. And well-located sliders for the most part. So I, so that's how he did it. That's how this man threw his no-hitter yesterday. I do like this approach. It's something we've been chasing, I think, from Turnbull over the years. I don't know if it's going to stick around, though. I... I, I'm crossing my fingers that he can be in this rhythm now, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for today of today's pitcher video breakdown. As always, my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babips be low and your strikeouts high. I'll see you guys on Twitch.